I forgot to show you my finished quilt. Sorry, I got busy. So a little while ago, I posted a tutorial on how I do my log cabin blocks assembly line style. Let's do all my quilts like that so it goes fast. And I showed you how to do a log cabin quilt, like a little tutorial. The blocks looked like this. I was using all different reds and whites and creams and pinks to make a kind of like an ombre effect. Now I started that last Monday and I got it all finished up and quilted and ready to go by Saturday. I think there was like a day in there somewhere that I didn't quilt. So, it, I mean, it took me almost all week, but I was going on a girl's trip for my birthday to Cambria. And one of the ladies going with me was supposed to be a quilt for her. So months and months and months ago, we went shopping and she picked out different fabrics and they've just been sitting here and I just keep like procrastinating and procrastinating. And I was like, you know what? We're going on this trip. It's perfect timing. Let me get it done. The backing got delivered the night before. And so the day before we go on the trip, I am loading it on my long arm, quilting it as fast as I can. I did the binding the night before and I packed it all up in my suitcase just in time because they were picking me up at like eight in the morning. It turned out so, so, so gorgeous. Okay, so these were the blocks, remember? Log cabin is amazing because it's all in how you lay out those blocks that you can create amazing designs in your quilt. For this particular design, she had seen a quilt like this years and years and years ago in the Amish community when she was out on vacation shopping somewhere. And she wanted one that was kind of a diamond pattern. This was her inspiration photo. It's more pinks and she wanted reds, like her house has some reds in it. So this is what we came up with. So here it is on the long arm. This is like the day before I'm supposed to leave on vacation. This is like the afternoon, probably four or 5 p.m. right before I'm supposed to leave. So I got it all done. We went on vacation. We stayed at this amazing Airbnb house that was like right, practically right on the water in Cambria overlooking the cliffs. Amazing. So we took advantage of sunset and we went out and took some pictures. So this is the final product. We hung it over the balcony and just had some really great lighting. Like I said, it's all about how you lay out your quilt block. So we were able to achieve this diamond pattern. You can also, my mom has gifted me a quilt with log cabin blocks kind of like this. And they are turned a different way so that it looks like circles, like different circles. So it was um, a, a really great um, experience. And we were on vacation and she's like, did you post about the quilt? You need to show it off. And I'm like, oh my God, I totally forgot to do that. I had no reception there no reception there was no way i was going to be able to film anything so i said you know i'll do it when i get home i'll just show it off so it's a really great beginner pattern if you scroll back a little bit you'll see the video on how i put it together